hello little silver family how are you all doing i hope you're fine uh for those who are new welcome to my channel and i hope you subscribe after this video i have been gone for uh, a week and something i've been missing i've not been posting i apologize and i i i'm going to be more consistent from now onwards this is a promise other times i really don't promise but now i'm going to promise you that i am going to be posting uh one video a week uh, at least if i have extra time i'll post two videos so uh i'll just give you a trip or i'll just recap my week how it was i have been in school um it was something that needed a lot of commitments as it was uh <laughs> adult education is not for me i think so so i had to concentrate do my exams and finally i got done i just i put clips uh for my day-to-day -day activity to day to day uh, school days I recorded at least a video for every day in school because this is going to be very memorable for me I will be going to Expo 2020 next week and I'm going to give you exclusive content on anything and everything I can document for you at Expo 2020 so I hope you enjoy the video and thank you so much for being patient with me thank you so much for keeping a uh, Thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, don't forget to share subscribe and always leave me a comment it really means a lot to me and to every new youtuber so far i appreciate the support and i and i hope to grow more with you and everyone i love you so much <music>
today is day two and um, I'm still excited, I'm relaxed, uh, I took a very nice uh, rest and I have my study mates right there. Uh, so let's do this. Look at my outfit. Ooh, it's the colors for me. It's the sleeves. I love them. So I'm in these cute, cute, very cute buildings, and this is my school. So let's see. My journey is still on. I love it. I am so grateful, very grateful. So <laughs> my hair is late. I have practiced the bum <laughs> today. <laughs> And then you've got your R2. They're gonna look after the right-hand side of an area of the aircraft there. L2 might look after over in that area there. Okay, so we break the aircraft down into small pieces. Okay, and you look after a different area. And we'll talk about that in more detail in the classroom. So when I come on board, I put my crew bag away. I'm going to check my jump seat, all my equipment. And I'm gonna check my area of responsibility. I'm probably gonna open up all the hat racks. I'm gonna have a look inside, just to see if there's anything that shouldn't be there. Okay, making sure that everything's working. I'm just gonna have a check of the seats. We'll go into more detail about this, but I'm gonna check my area. So I will give you a quick catch up on uh, why I was so overwhelmed. It's because uh, a few years back, I went to enroll Cabot Crew School at uh, Kenya Airways School in Kenya and I paid the admission fees and they said I could not take the cabin crew classes because I was 29 at the time and I was turning 30 so in short they just said you cannot take cabin you cannot be a cabin crew when you are above 30 so when I got this opportunity I felt so grateful it was so overwhelming and this was so so meaningful it was so important to me and I felt like it's like a dream come true and I was very 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 emotional about it. I've had the cabin crew dream for a long time I think 10 years by now and uh, no matter what anyone says to you if you know your gut tells you to follow that dream do not hesitate there will be challenges just follow your dream. This is how you jump. Then you come, come, come. <laughs> Some of them cannot jump. You know you have to encourage them. <laughs> day five. Okay, so today is day five of our class and <laughs> we have been learning a lot. First things first, I hurt myself. Uh, cannot see. Um, I had myself sliding, learning on how to save passengers. And this one here <laughs> asked a very funny question like who is supposed <laughs> who is supposed to come out first when there's an emergency? <laughs> and he was told you should come out last. So do you still want to continue? You want to come out first? Come out first. <laughs> 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 so, uh, because of security, we have to come out the last people because you have to guide people and open the doors for them. It's a risk job. You can't hold the song, so I am up above the clouds. So I, I can't see the ground. So I, I am coming down. So no, I, I am coming down. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta 
they call to see the magic happen. Good morning, everyone. So today is day day seven. Oh, yes, day seven. And here we are again, going to school. I am as excited as first day. And let's see. But I had the weekend, I relaxed, I met my friends, I went partying, and yeah, I'm ready for Sunday. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire. In Let's take a moment to appreciate my colleagues. They were so lively, myself, uh, for having this opportunity. And oh my goodness, my lecturer, wasn't he so sweet? Look at what he left for my colleague when he was late. Ah, good morning. It's a gloomy, I feel like I'm writing one of those compositions. It's a gloomy, interesting morning. It's not sunny at all, but the sun is in the clouds. So, headed to school. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. 2021 has been very, very memorable for me, and I have had most of my happiest moments in my life in over 10 years. So we were 10 of us in our class, very interactive, very friendly, and we had our dreams. So we scripted on these papers, our expectations, and why we wanted to study this course. And it was such a great learning experience. Uh, we went to party for the weekend, did real life demonstrations, like life-saving skills, fought real fires, and Good morning. So today is the last day of class and I'm very excited. I'm always with this part nine. I don't know what is wrong with Ugandans. We are Kenyans. <laughs> Only Kenyans. Ugandans. So Oscar, how are you feeling? Good. Good? Just good? Yeah, just good. Oh, we have exam just now. That's why we are bored. <laughs> we are just going now to have exam the last day and we have last exam and I'm super excited I really can't wait for my next adventure and I can't wait to share it with you just like the street lights lit this town like a fire in a blaze gotta burn it down can't be afraid to leave this out we got this far don't know day two we went to try some pakistan food well at this moment i'm not sure if it's pakistan or indian as i saw similar things on my plate so i could not tell the difference but if you ask our chief executive producer mr zishan i know he would be able to tell you but we had a great time we had miss elizabeth who tried parata for the first time and i trust trust you not she loved Loved it and she has even made it at home at the moment. <laughs>
our chief advisor. Right. If you go to give a presentation, you get one point. So you're the position. How do you say enjoy in Pakistan? How do you say what? Enjoy. Enjoy. That's difficult, man. You are an urban kid. That's difficult. Elizabeth, do you know the name of this thing? <laughs> Chicken butter? No, and then the bread? Yeah. Parata? Parata. Oh, wow. Welcome on board, welcome on board. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No we can't turn back now. I see danger in your eyes. They know we're going down the night. Yeah, that girl keeps trying to like the sunrise. You know that we go. He does not consent. No publish. You publish as much okay, as you want, man. Leg? No? No, no, no. Leg? Leg first. Body? Leg. Go ahead, sir. Fantastic.